in this particular show we have five artists. Um, the first artist here is um, Miranda. As you can see, she's a painter. She usually uh, paints on canvas and has now started to uh, paint on this um, polycarbonate panels as well because she likes the idea of transparency in her work. These two belong to a series of four called Introspection. This piece is called Give Me All of You. So Miranda is interested in uh, contesting the, the, the Western gaze or the Western male gaze, particularly in the history and the canon of art. So what she's been kind of cultivating for herself is to look and create paintings from her point of view and in terms of her own interests as a black queer woman. Um, she's very much interested in, in uh, creating seeds of intimacies uh, between, between women in their domestic settings, conversations that they might be having, thoughts that they might be having, and these are the points of views that she's quite interested in. We can move on to Charmaine Watkiss, who is another Tiwani artist who's based in the UK as well. Um, her, these are a new suite of drawings that she's made and that she collectively are known as Ashe, but they all have their own titles and, and ex, well, extended titles, I should say, to give you a sense of what is going on. Um, she wasn't able to be with, uh, with us here, but what she was really um, interested in connecting with was this idea of returning. Uh, she herself is trying to explore her own heritage as a Caribbean woman, but of, of, obviously of African heritage. So she's interested in making a connection to those histories as well. And what's influencing the work here is that she was thinking of the, the flora that um, travelled with uh, people to the, new, to the New World through the transatlantic slave trade. So she was looking at um, plants that were native to Nigeria and to West Africa. And um, so, so she makes, so each of these uh, figures that you see are based on portraits of herself she doesn't use any, any other figures. She uses her body to map out these different stories, uh, memory stories that she calls them. A lot of my work is sort of between abstract and figurative work. So some of the work is sort of, it sort of looks like I'm loose and more imagined and some of, some of it looks like more representational. Um, but in this particular show, I'm showing one of my um, semi-abstract landscapes. So it's more like thinking about how to paint the mind and in this situation, like my mind, the things that are going on uh, in my head. <laughs> so typically my work is about painting psychological landscapes. So I, I speak to my sitters normally and I, I see what they're going through and I try and um, translate that into a painting. So a lot of my other work is quite figurative. So you see human beings or bodies and it looks like their, their skin is sort of like being transformed. So for this show, I decided to push myself away from painting bodies and just paint a landscape so, to sort of try and depict what was going on in the chaos of a person's mind. So the painting really is about chaos and trying to find a place of zen in the center, like a soft landing. So yeah, that's what the, the work is about. It's painted on a vintage ash, um, ashoke okay, called Sonia. So I source the Sonia from Ibadan, Isaiah Uje, um, because I realized we have such a rich history of making fabric, of, of weaving. And in, in, originally I used to import my fabric from England, but then I stopped when I found this material and I started painting on it. My name is Choma Abinama. Um, I'm a Nigerian-American artist currently based in Athens, Greece. It's more of a, a journey. I think of it as a devotional path and so I think like any, all paths there are obstacles and uh, I feel very lucky to be making um, a living doing what I enjoy and what I love and very grateful for all of the people who have um, made that possible. Uh, so this piece is called The Bride 2. 
Um, it's number two because there was another bride that I made uh, for a different show, and um, I guess it's it's very much um, a reflection of my views of like marriage within Nigerian culture, specifically Igbo culture, and I think the 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 character actually came from. Um, a small detail from Chinua Achebe's um, Things Fall Apart. In a lot of Chinua Achebe's book, the female characters are kind of there, but silent. There's not a lot of things that women are doing. I don't really keep a sketchbook, and when I work on these images, there's no underdrawing. Everything is made, painted immediately. And so usually I come up with what I'm going to, the image I'm going to make through writing about it or reading about it. And um, I mean, my background originally was in sociology, so I've always liked research and writing. And like I said, when I wanted to be a writer before I wanted to be an artist. Living in, in Lagos, you know, there are a lot of inspiring ideas and concepts. Um, it's not hard to find materials, but they can be very expensive, and so that's a challenge that I think I faced, especially in my earlier years, finding the materials that worked for me um, from my financial point, but also in terms of what I wanted to do. Um, I know when I initially came back, I wasn't happy with the oil color paints, for example, I was able to find, and so I had to switch to acrylic paint. Um, and I know that getting materials continues to be a struggle for young artists here. So the idea behind my, my practice is really to think about new ways of presenting what we see every day. Um, specifically, I'm interested in hairstyles and botanical histories. I'm also interested in um, data surveillance infrastructures and how that is also a reflection of how we live and move. So I think movement, the movement of human beings, how that is tracked and how that is depicted is also something that's been very, very interesting for me. So there's a, um, for example, there's a fable um, um, from Colombia where slaves wove maps into their hair. And I think that story, whether it's true or not, because I've been, it's, I found it difficult to figure out, you know, whether it's just an old wise tale, or whether it's actually something that really happened. Um, caused me to really think about what a line can mean, what it can represent. Um, and so in my practice, whether I'm working from botanicals or working from hairstyles, I'm always thinking about how any individual line can stand in for many things. The conversation started at some point last year um, when we were thinking about how we were going to program the first year for, um, be, for being here and uh, we wanted to do a group show of, well we have two group shows planned but the first one is of a number of artists whose work we were interested in, in and we could see across their works how they were interested in looking at uh, botanical you know, matters and that's what we were interested in. So it was a question of having different conversations with those artists until we had our final lineup. I grew up in Lagos. Uh, I grew up with the visual language of, of artists from Nigeria and West Africa. And I felt it was very important once we've established ourselves in London to, be, to come uh, to Nigeria. Uh, part of the reasons why I wanted us to be here was obviously we work, we, we work with artists from Africa and the diaspora, so clearly we need to be here engaging with those artists, growing our stable of artists from the continent, but also engaging with uh, local collectors and a local patronage. It's very important to have those conversations and engage uh, with a collector based, based, based on the continent. Um, additionally, I just find it very interesting because obviously it would have made better business sense to launch a gallery maybe in New York or Paris or Berlin or Hong Kong, but I feel it's a matter of perception uh, where, you know, what, what you consider your center and what you consider, or consider being of re relevance. And for me, I think it's important and really relevant uh, to, to, to have an active um, arts ecosystem here in Nigeria. 